In this video, I want to talk about setting product variations or options. These are things like color and sizing and so on. Let's go in here and see exactly how this works. I find it quite intuitive myself and nicer than some of the other plugins I've looked at. So here we have variations right off the bat down below here. And it says select the variation sets. And a set would be color or size, something like that. And then the corresponding variance. Well, there's nothing right now. We don't have anything in the system as a whole. Now, what I like is when you click Add New Variance here, you're actually setting this for the entire site. So let's say, for example, this is size. And if I put in here small, you do a comma between each, small, medium, and large. And I add my new variance. Now, they aren't actually added here. That can be a bit confusing. What you actually just did was you added them to this section up here. Let's go see. I'll show you over here. We go to products and we go to variations. We just created those. Okay. So the nice part is when you're setting them over here, you're actually creating the ability for anybody on the site, any product, to use size. Now, Let's go back over to here. Why did it do this? Why didn't it just simply give us those variations and put them in here? Well, the reason is maybe you don't want to use all of the sizes. So let's say, for example, when I check this off, it automatically clicks them all. They're not yet down here, notice. They're still not part of the product. Let's say I take off large. Now when I hit Apply Variations, it's only going to give me those two. Large is still available, right? We've created that as part of a new set called size. And we could add new variants too to this. We could add another set. We could add new variants to this set and we can add new variant sets. All right. Now, notice what it's doing down here. It's allowing us to put different elements to each variation. So the weight might be different. The stock levels can be different. The pricing can be different. Sale pricing can be different. What it's done right now is it's just duplicated everything that we originally had for this product. But let's say, for example, a medium plate is $17 and the small is $15. Let's just leave off sale pricing right now just so we don't confuse things too much. All right, let's hit save. You've got to do save down here. You see the little indicator telling you that it's saving. I always hit update anyway, even after I've hit those saves, just to double check. I, I never leave a page without hitting update. So, all right, let's go back to our products page here. And we'll just refresh it. And we've got our blue flower plate. Now we have product options here and we can select a size. Notice that the price right now says from $15. Watch when I choose medium. It actually switches to the proper price, or if I switch to small, it's going to change the price for me again. Okay. So now I can add this to my cart with the particular price. In fact, let's see what this does. By the way, that's that pop-up, that fancy presentation they talked about. I really like that because it reminds me, yes, I did add this to my cart. Let's go to checkout. It doesn't have a go to cart one, by the way, which is interesting, but it actually goes to checkout. Now, did it take us to the checkout page? That's interesting. It didn't. I'm going to add this to cart. Notice what it did. That was kind of handy. It shakes when I didn't choose anything. That's kind of nice. Okay, so it tells me where to make my choice. I've added to the cart. Let's go to checkout. Interesting. It's not taking us to the checkout. That's very interesting. I'm not sure why. We'll explore that more when we get to the checkout page video. But on this particular occasion, I just wanted you to see how the actual sizing, the variation works. I'm going to come back to variations in another video and talk about how you can start them all on their own without working through a product specifically.